here we go with the E major scale. Remember the major scale formula is whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. If you don't have that memorized, you got to get that memorized. It'll make life a lot easier. So we'll, we'll, start, uh, we'll start right here with the E there. Whole step up to F sharp, whole step up to G sharp, half step to A, whole step to B, whole step to C sharp, whole step up to C sharp, uh, D sharp, and then half step up to E to round out the scale. If we want to, we could even double check ourselves, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. And we see that a whole step, remember, is two frets distance on the guitar. Half step is one fret difference on the guitar. And we see we've got the, the right formula here. The E major scale has four sharps, F sharp, G sharp, C sharp, and D sharp. And remember that we only want to use one letter name per scale, meaning one E, one F, one G, one A, one B, and so on. And so that's how we determine if we use a F or uh, like an F sharp or a G flat right here. Because if we, let's say we, let's, let's redo this. Okay, let's say we start over here. And when we get to the F sharp, we actually name that a G flat. Okay, so let's say we do G flat. Well, we got a problem already because we don't have an F anywhere in the scale. If you're only going up a half or a whole step, then you, you need to have either an F or an F sharp right here. In this case, since we're going up a whole step, we're gonna end up on the F sharp. The other thing that would happen is if we go to the next note, then we have a G sharp or maybe an A flat perhaps, but you would immediately see this is a problem here. We've got two different types of Gs. So that's kind of how we know what we're supposed to do when we're doing this. We uh, we need the next letter, so F sharp. Then we need the next letter name here, so that's gonna be a G sharp. The next one's easy, because that's an A natural. The next one is a B natural. So next we need some type of a C. And when we put that here, we see we got a C sharp. And then we need some kind of a D, so we have a D sharp. And then we're back up to the E, and that is your E major scale.